Welcome to the 16th vlog, 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 not going to sing. <laughs> yeah, this week, this past couple of weeks has been really crazy. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the vlog. It is chock full of exciting things that I've done in the past like week or two. So yeah, hope you enjoy it. All right. There's a whole there's wall. There's so many pillows. There's a whole wall of red pillows that I think. No look at all these aisles. <laughs> Where? Gosh. What weird dimension have In I stumbled heaven. into? Look at this. Look at this. Check this out. Amanda hates when I do this. Stop. <laughs> pillows. Weird story. <laughs> One of my favorite parts of being an adult oh, is the fact that you can eat a candy bar oh. for breakfast. Best candy bar ever. Look what we found at this weird flea market. I also found the Lego movie for $3. We are at another flea market. This one I know has Lego. We'll see what we can find. Look at that thing. <laughs> Only $75, still not gonna buy it, but this is way more interesting. Super knockoff. Lots of Legos here. This stuff is just, this place is just full of all sorts of cool stuff. What happened to us just a minute ago? We just had to FaceTime each other to look for each other because we both went separate ways. And, and we both got lost. There's a room of <laughs> giant furniture. We both like, got lost in this antique store. It's like a section. Huge. So we're here. at the Chinese buffet. I don't know if you can see it, but all these people over here are waiting with the tongs for all the crap. Is that? Okay, so here's the crab. It's about to come. These people are gonna lose their darn mind and they're gonna eat all of it. They're like, purposefully not putting it out right away. Hey, can I tell I'm gonna I'm gonna go try to get a better better look. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> it's casual, casual. It's casual. I'm gonna record this though. <clears throat> so there it is. There it is on that on that little cart right there. <laughs> These things are gonna be gone in like two seconds. All right, check this out. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Digging right in. <laughs> so I think it's important to clarify that I was not trying to shame anybody at the buffet. Um, I just think it's... Oh, dogs are going crazy. Anyhow, uh, I wasn't trying to shame anybody. I just wanted to clarify. I wasn't making fun of them. I just think it's pretty funny. Um, America's pretty funny sometimes with the foods that they find uh, appetizing, like crab legs. Like, crab is all right, but <laughs> to have, like, four or five people, like, waiting tongs in hand for crab legs uh, and, like, it's just snow crab legs. I just... It, makes me laugh a lot so I just wanted to clarify oh hi Kang I just wanted to clarify that I wasn't trying to shame anybody I wasn't trying to do anything like that I uh just legitimately think it's hilarious how much people like crab and how people will stake out the buffet to eat some okay seafood meat <laughs> pig and the wild pig. Down in Florida, we call the wild pigs piney woodrooters. You can tell these guys have wild in their bloodline because of their look. They've got a long, narrow snout, long, dangly legs. Even their hair is more coarse and wiry than a domesticated pig. The biggest difference, though, is their attitude. Right away as babies, the wild pigs have a natural instinct to be defensive and aggressive. And even though these pigs here are only half wild, they still carry many of those aggressive tendencies. So it is important that you do stay behind the rope especially during this race. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls in the audience, I'll be picking out five cheerleaders, or if you will, five pig rooters. Now, want to be lucky pig rooters, root your pig.
Remember, little Zanny is the man. figured I would end the 16th vlog with a little um, unboxing of all this stuff I just got. So yeah, let's start here with the Barnes & Noble bag. I got, um, I got an Anna and Olaf because they're super cute and I wanted that. An Elsa, once again, super cute, wanted it. And then a city thing, and I got that mostly because it has the husky. But I also bought all of that just so I could get the uh, Kessel Mine Worker. I also found out you can buy them for a dollar twenty-seven after after I got rang up. So I bought two more. So maybe I'll do a giveaway with these in the future or something. But yeah, I bought all of that. Alright, All right, there we go. Alright, now let's get into this box. I think most of you probably know what and why I got this. Um, since I got the Kessel Mine Worker, I needed... I needed the Han Solo Mud Trooper. So I got that. Oh, my phone's going off somewhere. Sorry about that. Oh, but yeah, so I needed the Mud, the Mud Trooper, the Han Solo Mud Trooper. All right, I needed, I also got the Boba Fett. Brickhead and the Luke Skywalker and Yoda Brickhead. Um, let's see here. I got the a Yoda magnet, Yoda fridge magnet, <laughs> and that's it, I believe. Oh, I got a red one of these guys. But yeah, so that's what I got. I'm pretty stoked on it, um, yeah, so, that's that, I, uh, yeah, be on the lookout, I think when my Instagram gets to 2,000 followers, I'll probably do a giveaway with one of these, maybe do another little giveaway with one of them, who knows, but, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching my vlogs. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy this one. It's quite a bit more eventful than the last one. And yeah, as always, happy building. You know, keep on smiling and keep uh, pushing to make everybody's day a little better, a little brighter. Thank you again so much. Have a great day. Bye.